So hi guys, um, now it is time to review Teen Titans issue number 5. Now, finally, I am happy to say this, that, you know, we have seen the Teen Titans, you know, form as a group now. Um, Skitter, I made a mistake, I said Skitter was joining the group, but she is not in this issue, she is not fighting against Superboy, we only have Solstice, um, Kid Flash, uh, Red Robin, um, and Bunker fighting against Superboy. And man, oh man, is in an epic, epic, epic fight. Oh, plus Wonder Girl. Um, so in this issue, we start off with, you know, Tim Drake, you know, calling the whole team, you know, the Teen Titans, because, you know, it just sounds, you know, perfect. It just sounds good. Um, and we see a whole, you know, um, pan, like a page, like just one page um, of, you know, him and the rest of the, you know, Kid heroes together, uh, or teen heroes. So we see that happen, and then you know, in the next page, we see basically Kid Flash running off by himself, trying to think that he can take on Superboy. Runs around him and starts punching him really quickly and fast, and saying that he can, he doesn't need um, you know Red Robin or you know all the other you know teen heroes that he can take on Superboy himself. But you know, to his you know not so quick thinking skills, he gets himself basically trapped as um, Superboy uses his psychic ability to make him run super fast around him constantly without, you know, stopping. So this could kill Kid Flash. Um, but Wonder Girl saves him by basically kicking him out of, you know, running around in circles. Um, so kicks him away and Solstice uh, goes and grabs him. And after we see that, we see Bunker, you know, try his take on, you know, fighting Superboy. And at first, he, he doesn't do so great. He tries to come back and, you know, punch Superboy again, but still not so great. Um, Superboy takes down Bunker, and now it's up to, you know, Red Robin to do, you know, the, the fighting against Superboy. So we see Red Robin actually, you know, use his head. Because um, we all know Tim Drake is really, really smart. He is really, really bright, and he he says that, um, you know, Superboy is able to use you know psychic abilities or you know telekinesis. So in order for you know in order for him to activate these abilities, he would have to use his mind. So what he tries to do is he tries to distract Superboy while he's fighting him. He tells Superboy that you don't know what Nowhere is doing. You're basically working for them without even knowing what they're doing with metahumans. You know and like, you don't belong there. You don't know what they're going to do after you're done taking us all in, you know? They could just throw you away, and he's trying to distract Superboy while he's fighting him. And it actually works. He actually takes down Superboy, um, and basically tells him, you don't know what's going on here. You don't know what side are you on, or basically you're on the wrong side. But what happens is, as he's still trying to talk down Superboy, um, basically what happens is he activate well, Superboy, you know, uses his telekinesis ability or psychic abilities to activate um, something in Red Robin's suit and basically, like, I guess, overrides, like, all the electronics and basically shocks um, Tim Drake and knocks him out. And, you know, after that happens, of course, Wonder Girl comes along and fights Superboy, um, throws her lasso at him, and it's a really, you know, it's a really strong lasso, unbreakable lasso, um, and... Basically, Superboy dives under, you know, near the subway and takes out Wonder Girl. Um, that cuts off. You don't really see what happens, but he just says, you know, cover your ears. And bam, we see Superboy carrying um, Wonder Girl in his arms. Um, and after that, we see Solstice try to take... She doesn't take down Superboy, but basically she tries to tell, you know, Superboy to try to persuade him that nowhere is lying to you. Um, you don't know what they're doing to metahumans. They say that they're researching them, but they could basically be killing them or using them for their own gain. You don't know what they're doing. So he, she's trying to, you know, persuade him to, you know, join them or to stop working for nowhere. Uh, nowhere. But, you know, Superboy being as he is, um, he wants to believe her, but at the same time, he's been lied so many times, he can't take it anymore. So he doesn't know who to trust. So he doesn't want to harm Solstice because he thinks she's really honestly trying to help him, but he just, he doesn't really want to know like whether or not he wants to join them. So he headbutts her and knocks her out. And after that, he decides to, you know what, I'm going to stop working for nowhere. I'm, I quit. 
I'm not going to work for you anymore. I want my answer. Stop lying to me. Stop, you know, telling me the half truths. And basically, he takes out um, the truck that they've been, you know, uh, monitoring him in. So he takes them out and he flies away. And leaving, you know, all the other teen heroes surrounded around each other, you know, all knocked out and basically out of action right now. So what I have to say was this... This issue, like I said, um, from issue one to three was a bit slow because we had to introduce all the characters. But then once it hit issue number four, it just went really great. It was the story was getting more intense, and it does get more intense in issue number five as they're fighting against Superboy. And we also learned that um, Cassie's uh, bracelet um, basically turns into armor, and like it, it, it's like not so noticeable. It is noticeable that at first you don't see like her. You know, she doesn't have a headband on, but later on she does get a head band around her head or her forehead because the, uh, the bracelets are basically forming an armor slowly as you know time goes by the the armor starts you know manifesting itself even more um, which is pretty interesting maybe they can have some kind of backstory to this armor if it fully develops it might envelop Wonder Girl and control her we don't know we do, I don't know what's going to go on but this is just really great you know now we get to see more you know more backstory for you know Cassie because basically we were just introduced that she was just a runaway and she robbed and she was just a thief we don't really know know so much about her you know origins as Wonder Girl um and I still want to learn more about you know Skitter and Solaces and everybody else it's, it's great I like you know character development um but yes this issue is great and we are left off you know on a you know on a point where you know we see all these teen heroes you know lying on the ground took now by Superboy and basically in the end we see something that says what's wrong with Kid Flash so maybe something that you know um, Superboy did to Kid Flash when he used his psychic abilities could have in you know done something to him but we won't know until issue number six but it really does lead to you know me wanting to pick up more Teen Titans because this is going really great right now um, so guys highly suggest you keep picking this up this was a good battle Teen Titans versus you know, Superboy was something, you know, I wasn't expecting, you know, for like a really great fight, but every, every teen hero got their shot against, um, you know, um, Superboy besides Solostis, but, you know, really great, really great to see everybody, individual teen hero try to take him out, and it's almost like Justice League where they weren't working as a team to fight against him, maybe if they did, they might have been able to take out Superboy, but this is just a, you know, early on, the form is just team, the team is just forming, so really we don't really see them, you know, interact with one another that great because they just got, you just met each other, but I know later on they will work as a team, maybe try to persuade Superboy to join them, but really great issue. I know I'm rambling on right now, but yes, check out this issue. We'll be reviewing, you know, The Flash and try to, you know, get my complete series of, you know, Smallville review coming out um, as soon as possible and my latest chapter or reviews on um, manga. So check those things out when it comes out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys later.